Family Guy's Mike Henry and White Simpson stars step away from non-white characters. The news was swiftly followed by a statement from the network's long-running animated favorite, The Simpsons, stating that the show will stop casting white actors for non-white characters. I learned about this just yesterday, actually, uh, and I have some opinions about it. And I am going to go on a little bit of a rant here, so this video might be a little bit long. But I feel very strongly about this, as I always have, about comedy, the state of comedy, where it was, where it's at now, and where it's going. What I've observed with comedy, especially in the past 10 years, um, is that it has slowly degraded itself over time to a form that it is now that's just a shadow, the shadow husk of its former self. To where every comedian you see, when you watch them doing stand-up, it's like watching somebody tiptoe in real time around a maze of invisible landmines. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, uh, ha, 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 tender, am I right? Ha, 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 shit's just not funny anymore. And it's because of political correctness. Things like this, cancel culture, woke culture, okay? Okay, Mike Henry, I respected you for the longest time. Mike, you were one of my favorite voice actors. I respected you. Why? Because you had, and still do have, immense talent. You can look like the way you do. And you can do characters that look absolutely nothing like you. And need I remind the public at large that that's the whole point of what makes actors impressive. The whole point of doing an impression. The whole point of why an impression is impressive, tee hee, is that I can look like I, the way I look, but I can sound like somebody completely different. And that's the magic of it all, okay? That's the whole freaking point. I, I've, I've hammered that home enough. But Mike, I used to respect you, but what you're doing right now is you are severing off a piece of yourself that you say right here that you love. I love this character, quote unquote, but you're giving it all up in one fell swoop, in one moment, because, and this is my opinion, because you and all the other guys who've done this, Harry Shearer and Hank Azaria, you guys know that <clears throat> at the end of the day, y'all don't exactly op occupy a very high position on the oppression slash victimhood totem pole that is used to judge everyone nowadays. You guys don't exactly occupy a very <coughs> high position on that totem pole. I think you guys know it. And doing things like this is like one little last little Hail Mary little like long shot to buy yourself a little bit of time before they eventually come for you. And they will. That is what this culture does. It's not based on anything real. It's pure emotion. And this is what's going to happen to you, Mike. I'm sorry to say it to you. This isn't going to buy you much time. It's not going to buy you much time, Hank Azaria, for refusing to voice Apu and allowing that shit to happen. And this all got me thinking when Apu got freaking canceled. Apu, the, the, the spitting image of a hardworking American immigrant. Somebody who came to this country, started his own business, started his own store, was successful at it, has a lovely wife with lots of children, a nice house in a nice neighborhood with a nice car. That's a bad thing to represent. Why is that bad? How does that make any sense whatsoever? Oh, they all start convenience stores. Uh, AKA starting a business, owning a franchise, being being entrepreneurs in their own right. Why is that? Okay, so sorry, explain to me why that's a bad thing. Why that generalization is bad, reflects poorly on Hindu Americans. Doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense when you really ask these simple, simple questions. It all falls apart. Then you realize that, again, like I said earlier, this whole movement of cancel culture, cancel, 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 is not based in logic. It's based purely in emotion. So, my next point is this. All right, so if it, it, so, he also voices Consuela, right? Oh, no, 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 les mon pleasure. The Mexican cleaning lady, right? Okay, is he going to stop voicing Consuela on the basis that he's not Hispanic or a woman? Is that's what is that what's next? 
Does is it going to get to a point where voice actors have to literally, literally look exactly like the characters they're doing, or, unless or else it's just problematic? It's racist. It's bigoted. Oh my god! Is it really going to degrade to that point? Honestly, that's in a twisted way. That's actually kind of funny. At the end of the day, all of this is is a joke. It's funny in a way. If they start going like, we need to actually, we need to actually have Consuela, someone who looks exactly like Consuela, voice Consuela, like give me a break. Where does where's the line? You know what I mean? So that to that point, okay. So is John Roberts, the voice actor who voices Linda Belcher on Bob's Burgers, is he gonna have to step down because he voices a woman? Oh. I feel so ashamed. This role needs to be voiced by a woman. Oh, I hate myself. Is that what's next? I mean, I might as well just go ahead and make this prediction. John Roberts gonna step down as the voice of Linda Belcher because he's not a woman. I'm calling it. So, it makes no sense. This whole thing is illogical. It's all a giant virtue signal to to bend the knee to the mob that will eventually devour them. That's all this is. And so the last point I would close on in this rant is this. You, if you make a rule and you apply it, you have to apply it to everyone or else it's not really a fair rule. I think everybody can kind of agree on that. For example, all right, if you're going to apply all this shame and outrage mob or whatever to people like this, you okay where's the outrage for your poster boy of woke culture donald glover back in his day when he was in his Derek comedy you know sketch troupe back in like 2006 that's what this video was released right when oh De here's donald glover making fun this kid is called kp because it's called kid parkinson's oh he's making fun of people with parkinson's oh my gosh donald glover you are so problematic Parkinson's disease, it's not a joking matter. Oh my god, Donald Glover, cancel him. No, you don't see that happening. Because he's a protected class nowadays, and he can do no wrong. Oh my god, Donald Glover, disavow, disavow, you made fun of people with Parkinson's. Oh my god. No, you don't hear that. Not at all. All right, guys, I think the main part of my rant is over. Uh, so I'm going to start to close up shop here. The main takeaway I'd like for you to have... Uh, after all that I've said so far is that the entertainment and com comedy industry as a whole has been hijacked and infiltrated by certain echelons that are at the top of those industries to socially engineer the audiences of all these forms of entertainment to think a certain way, act a certain way, and within that, <coughs> vote a certain way. We can absolutely see that TV shows and movies and video games in the past several years have all had these little flavors of wokeness and social justice injected in, in, in them when it makes no sense whatsoever to put them in there. To the point where it quite often completely detracts from the story. Nobody cares. If, you know, the main heroine is a wheelchair-bound, black, Muslim, furry, paraplegic with a stutter. Nobody gives a shit. That's not, that's not solving whatever injustice there actually is in this country. But to interject that kind of message in all forms of entertainment and comedy, it poisons that landscape when you do it. It's two hands that should never meet. So whenever you see the actors and the players within these industries do things like this, know that it's absolutely par for the course for this mode of thinking. A lot of the actors and comedians in these industries are in full-blown panic mode right now. And they're doing things like this to basically stuff a little ace up their sleeve that they think they can go-go gadget at the moment that the mob comes to eat them alive when in reality if you look at history that ace comes out and it turns to dust in their hands history has shown that the mob does not care the mob is driven by pure hijacked emotion and anger and it's completely thoughtless at the end of the day all with the gall to label itself as as progress 
So anyway, guys, I really do appreciate y'all hearing me out on this. This is something that I, I feel very passionate about. And especially since it has to do with voice acting, I'm not a voice actor in the traditional sense myself, but I do voices as my th main thing. And, and whenever I see people who I, who I respect and I like their work, do something like this and bend the knee, it just makes me want to rant. Guys, um, and the last thing I'll say is that if you're a subscriber of mine um, and anything I said triggered you or made you feel uncomfortable, or makes you mad at me, or if you all of a sudden think I'm just racist, bigot, homophobe, trans, like just go through your little Rolodex, pick out the little flavor of the fucking month and call me that, okay, whatever. Fine, you're under no obligation to watch anything I make. You can just leave, imagine that. So please do that if you got triggered by this. I'm not making content for you at all. And if you're a subscriber of mine who watched what I had to say, watched all of that I, what I had to say, and you know, wants to give some constructive criticism and or otherwise enjoyed what I had to say, you're good people. I appreciate you, and I'd love to have you here longer. So I mean that. Um, anyway, guys, I said that was the last thing, so I'm going to hold myself to that. Thanks again for watching. My name is Reese, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.